Yeah. Somebody just jump? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see how it's going. Sand up the river. The resilience is, is uh, we kept testing the resilience to make sure that we, you know, we had plenty of it. And uh, we've had, you know, oh, architects and builders and everybody up here, and they always said, oh, well, you could build a tower on top of it. So we're really not worried about <coughs> going up. Well, it's disassembled right now. We just, I was going to have one for demo to show you today, but I didn't have, a, didn't have time. We got the truck broke down. Uh, That's the truck that hauled all the sand. There's a little pickup that hauled all the sand. Where did you get this sand? About a thousand loads of it, I guess. We just got it out of the creek bed. Put it in all oh, our pathway here. Uh, over now. Not anywhere near what Gene's got over there, but we're not running what Gene's running either. I mean, we're just running smaller things. We don't have freezers or things like that, but we don't really need them. We found it better off without it. In our little computer, we're really happy. That doesn't have any moving parts in it either. It's a uh, Sinclair computer from England. And it's a uh, low amperage. I, I missed that. It draws one amp. It's running through. Oh, it doesn't run through. It probably doesn't run through off 9 volts anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. We just run ours directly off 9 volts. We run them directly off 9 volts. Yeah. Oh. Most of your computers will burn up your uh, transformer. Got, most of your problems with computers uh, are that they burn, they get, they're trying to hold back so much energy from 110 down to 9 volts that they burn up the transformer. Hmm. So we just went with the 9 volts and we bring it down from 12 and we're doing fine with it. Oh, is this? Like, like we used to haul it down to camp. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Every time we take it up, I thought it Yeah. Get some good water down there. By any chance, you know what this is. Anybody know? Honey, what's the name of this plant? Yeah. You should know. All of a sudden, they just opened up a whole moment. Yeah. On the radiation from coal lines. What was 150 feet and causing effects on your plants and on, on your small rodents. We've noticed it a lot since the coal lines went in, the wildlife is gone. So there might be something to it, I don't know. It's, it's, down, it's downstairs on the Right now. How about the big one? Oh, the big one. Whoa, geez. I don't know. Yeah, they, they, you can hear them. They don't live on Oh, and oh, induction? They collect their own. <laughs> right on, I might as well talk about it, is this peculiar looking rock here, it's, it's uh, the little black specks in it are tourmaline crystal, and tourmaline is a very powerful crystal in a piezoelectric effect way. Uh, piezoelectric effect means it can produce electricity, just being, just what it is, by either pressure or light, it will produce electricity. We ran some minor tests and we're really excited about the potential involved here and what we could do later on, but we don't have the, the time or wherewithal to, to really get into it. But we feel that eventually we'll be able to, or, and people everywhere will be able to use crystals to power, you know, all their 
all their equipment, probably under 12 volts. I mean, you know, just the same thing we're running here, getting 12 volts of energy, just like the solar panels. In fact, these panels themselves are crystals, they're sand crystals, and they're just grown and then they're sliced and, and uh, start producing electricity. But uh, anyway, there's a there's a undiscovered potential here in this purple crystal. There's a lot of deposits in there. Are uh, water supply right now? We just deactivated the air well because we're going to build a bigger one. And that's going right where the pickup is. We got the rock there ready to start putting it in. Uh, so, in the interim, we haul our water, and we just got some hot water tanks for the hauling out of Chino, and run gravity flow, and we water our garden, and showers, and everything else off of just gravity flow, it works fine. And it hasn't bothered us a bit in hauling water. There's a facility at Ashford that has a 24-hour uh, point-operated water facility. You can come in and put a quarter in and get 25 gallons of water. So a lot of people just put tanks on their truck and uh, go in and load up and take it out to their place. Chino's got the same thing, but we haven't checked in to see if it's available to the public or not. They've got one of those. Ash Fork is 25 miles as a crow flies right through here. There's a back way to get into it. And uh, we really like it up there. It's a wilderness. There's still bear and cougar and everything just prevalent right in the area. It's undeveloped. That's because of the lack of water. Huh? Lack of groundwater. Yeah, that's the main drawback of people going in there was the groundwater. That's why we're gone more into the air well and trying to understand and build them. Because if we can... There's one guy up there, his name is Cook. He lives off off the uh, 89 highway there to the left, just before you get into Ash Fork. I think it's road 123. Uh, he's never hauled he's never hauled any water. And all he did was he built his house himself and he built it out of rock and then he put a roof, slope, and calculated to collect. Ten and a half inches a year of rainwater. I mean, he just based it on that. And he dug a big 30,000 gallon cistern. And he's never been out of water. He's got just tons of water all the time, just from the rainwater. He runs it through a charcoal filter, so it's good for drinking, and he irrigates with it, and does all his wash and everything with it. So, uh, we've been invited up to see a setup, but we haven't got up there yet. There's different ways to do things. These uh, spools come from APS. They're free for the hauling. If you know somebody down there, or just go into the yard and ask for them. They make dandy little workbenches or tables or anything else. Well, these two panels here work better than these, believe it or not. And we got these for, well, we practically stole them. We got them so cheap. We got them for $90 a panel. And we found that even though it looks bad, it's breaking the light up better. It's acting more as, a, as prisms and sending the, the light into the cell. We're getting... Uh, I think it's like 0.1 and a half or 0.2 amps more power out of these than we are these. I wonder if we just took sandblasted glass, <laughs> I, I, sand, I sand sandblasted yeah. glass over your other panel, whether that would increase the uh, output. Gee, it might. It might. Or the, uh, uh, the glass that they use on, on uh, uh, pictures, uh, the opaque until you put it right up to your pan or up to your picture and then uh, uh, it looks clear. It might be interesting. Yeah, you're
wife was. Oh, did they? They're still working. Yeah, she oh, yeah. was saying that those were her best, too. That's where our first trip. They work great. I, I'll, I'll buy all they got at that price. Right, right. That's what she was saying. Where'd you get these? Got them from Jean. Of course, he said they don't sell the uh, seconds anymore. Well, no, they said they did sell a small second. Right? Small one. Well, it, he used to be with Photowatt. Photowatt was bought out by Arco. Arco has just gobbled up all the little guys. Arco was. And Arco won't let any of their stuff out in seconds. I mean, that's their policy. Gene is in with the Japanese now, and the Japanese are building a superior panel. They're, they don't break. They're no longer in circles. They're using advantage of the, the whole uh, panel. And I forget the, the name of that crystal. But... Amorphous silicone. What is it? Amorphous silicone? Yeah. And it, it's, uh, for the size, you're getting, well, getting a better deal. And we suspect that the prices will be dropping. After the, tax, huh? after the tax credits? After, after the tax credits go off? Yeah, probably after the tax credits. Or you're going to have to do something to keep people interested. But now that Japan's in it, I mean, gee whiz, think of calculators and computers and everything else just a few years ago. We got our we got our uh, computer like we did everything else. We there's a little second hand store here in Chino and the, the guy didn't know what he had. He had a brand new computer sitting in a box with an extra memory and some, some tape programs there. We didn't know what he had either. We weren't even into computers then but We'd gone to Thousand Trails for a demonstration in a free video game called Odyssey. You run on your video, and it only had three shows on it, and that was it. And we were, <coughs> we really didn't didn't care for it. So we asked him if he'd like to uh, work out a swap, and he said sure. So the computer wound up costing us twenty dollars, and uh, then we started figuring it out on energy wise and uh, we asked all the people if we could run it off of solar and they said no they didn't think so but <clears throat> it was it was simplicity it was nine volts to operate it so why couldn't you run it direct and then we did the first day we plugged it in it worked fine and still working fine off of nine volts we went down to radio shack and got a a little reducer that you plug into your cigarette lighter it reduces it from 12 to 9 to 6 to 4.5 or whatever you want. And gee, it, it just works slick. And we've been we've been just going crazy with that computer. But we like to go to garage sales and stuff. We find a lot of materials here. If we had to do all this stuff new or to hire it out, in fact, the lady that came out, she's a friend of ours, she's in... She's with Action Realty in Chino. She came out. She said, "Well, there's not, an, there's not, nothing on a house like that in our books. They're all done to plans and squares and boxes and everything. And a custom home." She said, "Well, she didn't know where to place it in the price category. So we bought this land. We got a deal on the land too, by the way. It was in court. Nobody wanted to touch it because it was tied up in a, in a divorce. We decided to take a chance on it. And we're glad we did. We bought the land and a year later, a year and a half later, it had uh, doubled and now it's on its way to tripling itself. So we're glad we bought the land. But she looked at the house and said, well, I said, well, of course it's not finished. It's just in its, its infancy and I don't know what, what to put on it. And I told her what we had into it, and materials and things. She couldn't believe that. But, but she put her value down on her, we asked her for an estimate, and she put the value down at $40,000. And I, I just about fell over it. And then our friend who works for APS, that little house down, just down the meadow in front of us. With all the solar panels on it. 
Yeah, with all the panels on it, yeah, right. <laughs> he won't tie into APS. He's, he's one of their surveyors. But uh, he came up and told us how proud he was of, of, of this house and how what a deal he got on it. And I said, well, how much did you pay for it? And he said, well, I've got two bedrooms. And I went down and looked, and it's not. he doesn't even have the room that we've got. He's got two bedrooms and a, a kitchen-living room combo and one bathroom. And it cost him $65,000 to have it built. And I just, geez. How much it, land do you have here? We've got 12 acres. It seems a lot big. We've got a, it seems like a rather large house. It isn't when you get into it. It's just uh, two average-sized bedrooms and a bath and uh, that living kitchen thing. Well, and, no character. Huh? <laughs> and no character. And no character. And no what? No character. No character. <laughs> but but he said he, he was happy that, you know, he thought that was cheap. He'd done, he checked with Lincoln Homes and a lot of home builders, and he thought he was getting a real bargain. I, I, I didn't tell him what we had into our place at that point. No, I, <laughs> no, I'll make him feel real bad. <laughs> He tied himself up for the next, uh, I think it was 40 years. He's got he's to make payments. And he, he took out a loan on everything, the property and everything. It was $98,000 $98, that he's got to be paying on for a long time. And we're, we're free and clear. Well, not on the property. We're still buying the property. We've still got probably a year or two on that. Too. Everything else is free. So well, it's a lot. Okay, well. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, you go down to the corner and turn right. And then turn left. And Where? You follow your way out.